class, let's talk about cuvettes. Cuvettes are the vessels we hold our solutions in when we do our uh, UV visible spectroscopy. And the one we'll be using today is this kind here, which is a plastic uh, cuvette. And these are really inexpensive, maybe 20 cents each. Um, and the key is that they've got flat, very transparent uh, walls through which the light can pass. So this cell has four clear uh, transparent sides and it's got a path length, a path through which the light goes of one centimeter. And it holds around four and a half milliliters of, of solution. You have to fill it up about probably two thirds of the way to be careful. This is a, a similar cell, it's also made of plastic and it's, it's also reasonably inexpensive. And it's actually made for using uh, less volume of the sample that you're, that you're analyzing. And so it has a fairly large reservoir, it's one, one centimeter uh, here. And the light will still pass through a whole centimeter, but at the bottom it's kind of tapered down and you have a relatively thin slot through which the light goes, uh, through that, that the solution goes down into. The composition of what the cell is made out of is really important. And so this cell here is made of quartz as opposed to the ones we looked at a minute ago which were made of plastic. And that is good for two things. One is that plastic cells um, don't absorb throughout the UV, re the UV region. They absorb in the visible and part of the UV but not all the UV. Quartz cells actually absorb all the way through the UV region down to about 200 nanometers. And so if you were looking at things in the UV, you need to use a quartz cell. And so whereas the plastic cells are pretty inexpensive, these are quite expensive. Uh, an inexpensive one is made $40 for this and an expensive one is made like $100. Um, and they come in a couple different designs. So you can see that this cuvette has two transparent sides and two cloudy sides. And so you know that it's used for doing absorption spectroscopy because you're watching the light go through and seeing how much, how much, light, gets used, how much light gets absorbed as you go through this, the sample, as you go through the uh, cuvette. And so this uh, cell has four transparent sides, four clear sides, and it's used for a technique called uh, phosphorescence or fluorescence spectroscopy. And what happens is in fluorescence spectroscopy, you're not actually looking at how the light gets absorbed, you're looking at how, once you irradiate a sample, how it emits light, how it glows. It's for things that glow. And so what happens here is because you've got four transparent walls, light will come in on one in one angle and you're going to actually put your detector at right angles to it, 90 degree angles to it, to watch the light that's emitted coming out the side. So you need four clear transparent walls for that. This is a specialty cell uh, used uh, for a, a, a technique called circular dichroism. So this cell is really thin. It's got only a one millimeter path length as opposed to this one here which has a one centimeter or 10, mil, 10 millimeter path length. So this one is, is only one tenth as wide. Uh, we were looking for, for cuvettes to show you. We found these big long ones. So it's a big long one. It's made clearly for UV visible or for, for, for absorption spectroscopy because it's got two clear sides and two cloudy sides. But they're really, really tall and I have no idea why. I have no idea what they're used for. But we have an old box of them. And finally, my favorite, absolute favorite uh, cell for doing spectroscopy, uh, UV visible spectroscopy, which is uh, used for doing spectroelectrochemistry, where what you do is you shine light on a sample and then also oxidize and reduce the sample while it's there. So this cell has a reservoir at the top, but down here, it's, the glass is solid except for this one little slit there that the solution goes down to. The solution goes down to that one little slit and the light's going to kind of go through this way. So the light path is going through just that one slit of things. But the thing that's really neat is it also has this insert that goes into it. And this insert is an electrode. And so the, the pattern on here is gold. And it's got this honeycomb pattern on it that has holes in it. And the idea is that this electrode gets put into this slot here. It slides into that slot. And so it's embedded in, it's in, submersed in the liquid that you have in your solution. And then you um, attach leads onto the top and you electrolyze, you apply a voltage here and it electrolyzes your solution. And so when the solution gets electrolyzed, it'll react, it'll change color. And what will happen is the light going through that honeycomb can be used to watch the color change that happens as you do an oxidation or reduction of your sample. So it's an amazing uh, little device and is uh, amazingly expensive. 
So that's uh, cuvettes. They come in lots of different uh, materials, lots of different uh, shapes for different purposes.